Emerging from the depths of space, a large meteoroid is on a collision course with our planet. Travelling at extremely high speed and weighing thousands of tons, the meteoroid hurtles towards our planet. As it plunges into the atmosphere, friction heats the meteoroid, but not enough to vaporise it. In a blinding flash of light, the meteorite hits the Earth. An enormous explosion, more powerful than a nuclear blast, forms a crater almost 900 metres in diameter. The crater remains as an ancient scar on the landscape. The impact occurred in the Kimberley region of Western Australia, on the edge of the Great Sandy Desert. The crater is now known as Wolf Creek Crater and by its indigenous name, Kandimalal. Meteorite impacts on this scale are rare. This event occurred more than 300,000 years ago. Viewed from above, we can see how similar the crater is to craters on the Moon. When we look at the Moon through a telescope, we see thousands of impact craters. Craters on the Moon are very well preserved. Most of the craters on the Moon are impacts from solar system debris around 3.9 billion years ago. On Earth, we see far fewer impact craters. There are less than 200 known meteorite craters identified around the world. Each white dot on this map is an impact site. Our planet's atmosphere protects us from smaller meteorite impacts. The forces of wind and water also cause impact craters on our planet to erode. Kandimalal, Wolf Creek Meteorite Crater, has been known to Aboriginal people for a very long time. But it was only recognised by non-Indigenous people for the first time in 1947. For over 40,000 years, Aboriginal people in Australia have developed a detailed knowledge and awareness of their environment, including the landscape and the night sky. Today, Indigenous people share their knowledge about the crater by storytelling, song and art. The late Jack Jagari talks about the Warada star which fell to Earth. Well, uh, what uh, things been called, well, the black water reckon early days, they the first mob, you know, they don't, they don't see any white people or anyone there, but they didn't know their own colour, you know, like us. You know. They reckon star, second star from big one, you know, been four, while we call them water, the star. Water, water been fall in this ground, and it will make a big noise, even shake this country, and cut that weight. He made a round, what's your name? Reeve, now right round. And he made it all really there. The crater features in Aboriginal art, including paintings, which show the story of the star which fell to Earth. Indigenous elder Stan Brumby shares his story and his star song. That story come from sky, from sky. That story. That's a song I got him with that. Got a language out on I think and what I want in a big stab and bull and got it from top, from sky. Leave him all the little star and top and him big stab and bull down. 
Wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada waninya nguranga, wada waninya, wada Kandi Malal is a part of the ancient and dynamic Indigenous cultural heritage of Australia. At the Gravity Discovery Centre, visitors learn about Wolf Creek Crater in the exhibit Timeline of the Universe. Visitors also conduct gravity experiments with free-falling objects and are able to create their own impact craters. Water-filled balloons are dropped from the top of the 45-metre tall Leaning Tower. The Gravity Discovery Centre also displays a large iron meteorite found near Mundrabilla in Western Australia. Discoveries continue to be made. In 2007, scientists announced the discovery of the Hickman Meteorite Crater in Western Australia. The crater measures more than 200 metres in diameter. Remarkably, the crater was accidentally discovered when it was noticed on Google satellite images. Scientists also use a special automated camera network to search for new meteorites by photographing giant meteors. The project has successfully photographed a meteorite fall, which was then recovered on the Nullarbor Plain in South Australia. For scientists and researchers, Wolf Creek Crater is a place of great scientific importance. Wolf Creek Crater is a very special landscape for all Australians. <laughs>